Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to determine if we have something called a Sophie Germain prime. Sophie Germain was a mathematician at a time when female students were not typically admitted to the universities. And um, a Sophie Germain prime is a prime P for which 2P plus 1 is also a prime. So Sophie Germain noticed that often is the case that uh, if you plug a prime P into that formula, 2P plus 1, you get a prime again. So that's why it's called a Sophie Germain prime. So notice that the prime 11 would be a Sophie Germain prime because 2 times 11 plus 1 is 23 which is also a prime. But the prime 13 is not a Sophie Germain prime because that formula doesn't work. Two times 13 plus one is 27, which is not prime. Our task is given the prime p equals 179, find 2p plus one and determine if that's prime so that we know if p is a Sophie Germain prime or not, if 179 is a Sophie Germain prime or not. So two times 179 plus one is 359. So in order for 179 to be a Sophie Germain prime, we need to determine that 359 is also a prime. How can we do that? Well, typically what we would do is we would start dividing 359 by prime numbers, two, three, five, seven, eleven, and so on. Um, but to limit the amount of work we have to do, there is a little trick where we can take the square root of 359, which is approximately 18.9, and we only have to check divisibility by primes less than that value. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 is not quite sufficient. We should also check 13 and 17, but we don't have to check 19 because 19 is not less than 18.9. So let's go ahead and eliminate um, some factors here. So 359 is definitely not even, so we don't need to check the two. Um, we can check divisibility by three using the divisibility property that the sum of the digits should also be divisible by three. So three plus five plus nine is eight plus nine is 17, which is not divisible by three. So three is not a factor of 359. Now, five definitely is not a factor of 359 since it doesn't end in a zero or a five. And that brings us to seven. Let's check if seven goes into 359 evenly. When we divide 359 by seven, we get a remainder of two. So it's not a divisor of 359. So now we're gonna move on to 11. When we divide 359 by 11, we get a remainder of seven. Anytime the remainder is not zero, that means it doesn't divide in evenly, it's not a divisor, and so we need to eliminate 11 as a potential factor. Now let's check 13. 13 goes into 359 27 times with a remainder of eight, so it is not a factor of 359. So that just leaves 17. This quotient also has a remainder, so that means 17 also is not a factor of 359. So we can conclude that 359 is prime, and that means that 179 is a Sophie Germain prime. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.